maximum effort. And now we're back in business and it closes all the way and opens all the way. Okay, so we're gonna fix the sunroof on the QX30 today because it doesn't open or close anymore because the little cable broke, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. See, mine is stuck all the way back here, sunroof, and it won't move by itself anymore because the little clips are broken on the side, which I'll show you when we actually dismantle it. It's gonna be hard to do it, but yeah, it's stuck in there right now. Here we are, good old eBay, $150 for this piece. Let me show it to you. Here it is, it is the curtain cable and I'll provide you guys with links on this but see these clips here with this wire attached to it it's literally just like sewn on I'm not even kidding it's like threaded like sewn to the plastic piece so those clips clip into the corners so first thing you want to do is open all the doors and start by pulling the trim down So I got this pop clip tool that you can like put in here and it just pops off, you know, all the clips. And fun. So I can focus on getting this panel off and then I'll have to do the other side. And then same thing there, kind of like work it around. I'm not gonna get super detailed because it's pretty straightforward. You just look for the clips popping out. That way we really can start to loosen the top layer here. So on the back quarter panels here, the little airbag thing pretty easy to just like pop that out yep pop those out on each side because that's gonna help you pull this piece out here in the corner and with one side down voila it'll just be kind of hanging on by the speaker cable which if you want to remove it completely you can go ahead and do that I may do that to get some more room and I had soundproofing that I put in here that's what this sound skin stuff is okay with both sides down it should look something like that yeah, we're going to move on to the next quarter panels here by the driver and passenger seat. Okay, with the quarter panels here, guys, you'll see these clips, which we're going to pull out probably using a needle nose. That's what's really securing it in place. Okay, so the needle nose wasn't the way to do it. All I did was pull this and push it out like that, and it kind of made a popping sound, like a metallic sound. Let me show you on this side. Again, make sure this is down far enough because comes off down there and pull this away see yep pops out like that pull this away yeah a metallic sound and got to pop out the other side however that should get it pretty loose and by the looks of it when i look in here this should just come down oh yeah see so it's gonna slide with the belt how the belt moves up and down so yeah that was easy to drop so there we go i'm gonna do the other side all right y'all as far as tackling these You'll see that they're kind of like already cut out and maybe you can fit something here. I don't know if I can do this with two hands or one hand. Okay, so I removed these completely. I just pulled them out after they were loose, which is not hard, but now you can actually see those clips in there. So uh, let me figure this out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, can you see that the pinch this and it came out. And now I'm gonna do the other side, hold on. Okay, with it completely, with it completely out, the retainers are still gonna stay in there. Don't don't mess with them, just leave them there. I mean, if you pop them out because you squeeze too hard, that's I'm sure that's fine. You can probably put them back in because the grooves here and the plastic, which you'll see when you look at them. So yeah, now we gotta do the, the other three and then we'll try the mirrors and the lights. Okay, all four are off on each side. That's how it should look. All right, the clips are in there. Awesome, let's take a look at these visors. Okay, upon first inspection, I mean, this one may just be clipped on there. Maybe it's the same kind of mechanism holding it in. This has a little kind of door around it, which I'm seems like if I pop this corner out, then maybe it'll slide out. So let me fidget with it and I'll get right back with y'all. This one's pretty easy. Just, I'm using this kind of pop clip and just push down on all four corners front and back oh there it goes see so there we go and like you see those clips in there just like the osha bars so i'm gonna squeeze those and pull this bad boy out okay you got to be careful i squeeze one of these clips too hard and it actually fell in there and i'm not sure i'll be able to get it out we'll find out once i actually open more of this hopefully i can get it out okay with this side i did the same thing i just kind of used a little orange clip and went around all corners and it popped out of the main 
spot right there. So let's be careful with this one because I want to make sure it actually comes out without losing it. And it slipped right out. So let's do the other side. And this other stuff, I'm not sure if it's clipped in to the actual metal behind here. If I need to try to pop it out, especially this cover here, but I do know I need to do the front quarter panels next. So we'll probably do that. So again with this, I'm just gonna pop the little airbag clip out like we did in the rear. And hopefully this allows me to pull this forward. Yep, perfect. And that's probably all the clearance I'll need to pop this thing out when I figure the rest. And after this video, you guys may find things that are not necessary, but I'm pulling this button. I can't actually move the mirror any further than that, but it does create the clearance there, I think, to knock this down. It gives me a better idea if anything else is in the way. So give me a second here. Okay, so it's actually easier than I thought. You just push this in here, push in hard, you feel a clip, and then yeah, it'll come down. And well, yeah, see how it's not clipped in, so that's good. So once I drop the headliner, it, it'll be good. It won't be holding anything in place. Okay, backlight, see a little divot here? Pretty sure. I'm gonna play with this. It'll pop out. Give me a second. Yeah, sure enough, pops out super easy. So I'm just gonna unclip the lights, all the lights. That way nothing's in the way. Well, I was just well, I was just looking at used pieces of this on eBay to see if there was clips in it, and I noticed there was like really no clips and maybe bolted in. So I just kind of looked up here and there's a fucking piece of Velcro from the factory right there that was holding this top piece on. So I was able to pull it down and I can see this whole piece in there is not clipped in anything, so that's good. So I am going to look around a bit and see if the rest of the headliner is held on with this Velcro, because it may be. Okay, sure enough, so far it's been Velcro in the corners all the way to the back. And if I peek in right here, without getting too hasty, you'll see there's one pop clip there. So I'm gonna pop that, give me a sec. Okay, sure enough, that was really the only pop clip. So let me show you like how much Velcro is holding the headlighter on. It's pretty wild. See all the little squares? All got the Velcro on it. And they go around the whole way. Yeah, it's all Velcro. So once you pulled it down, I just need to access the roll up there, uh, the sunroof roll, which I'm gonna bolt down. However, I'll probably undo this wire here so I can drop this a little bit more and then we can unbolt the sunroof roll and replace the piece we need to. Okay, once you remove those two wires, pretty easy. You can actually use your pop clip to pop this out so you can unclip them easier. The headrests <laughs> are the, the front seats are holding it up, so I need to move them forward and then back so I can make some space and drop it more. Okay, see, got a little more space now. So really what we need to tackle is this. We want to pull off this back roll, right? And there's some plastic clips in here that crack on the sides that actually pull it back and forth on the track. And that's what's broken every time the sunroof breaks on these things. So I'm guessing I'm going to attack these big main bolts first. And hopefully this big chunk comes out with the whole assembly of the roll. The first thing I'm going to try are those two silver ones here. They are T20s. And then we'll do the big bolts after that. Okay, that bolt, after you do the T20s, that big bolt there is a, of course, a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna knock each one of those out and it may just be loose after that. I really don't know, I'm gonna find out. Okay, yes, sure enough. So maybe get a second hand if you can, because yeah, as you loosen each side, I'm not gonna do one bolt all the way. It did, the whole assembly's loose. So that's good, it's gonna come out as one piece. Okay, sure enough, the, the whole roll came down, so. Really, just reach in here because there's no electricity holding this part in and we can examine what went wrong here. So, these clips in the corner, they crack and they feed into the mechanism, the cable mechanism that I think pulls these back and forth. So, I may have to go unpull the old cables out that are still in there because they clip in here. So, watch, let me show you. Here it is. It is the curtain cable, and I'll provide you guys with links on this, but see these clips here with this wire attached to it? It's literally just like sewn on. I'm not even kidding. It's like threaded, like sewn to the plastic piece. So those clips clip into the corners. 
So yeah, now I need to figure out how to pull out this piece and then we can replace that piece and clip it in and hopefully be done. I mean, I may not have needed to remove this. However, I needed to examine it fully from the to see the top here because you can't see this. You know what I mean? So I'm about to turn the car on. We'll probably get all sorts of warning lights. However, let's see here. There's the cable, see it? So yeah, see, there's, there's the cable. And boom, that's it at the end. So I'm like, hearing, how do I access the piece it's running into and replace it? I don't know. I've never done this before. And all I can think of is, that I have to drop this piece next, which is probably unavoidable. Praying to God that it'll only be 150 bucks versus the over 3,000 the dealer was gonna charge to do this repair. So I've gone ahead and just pulled out the extra clip there for the front pillar. I'm gonna do the other side because that did give me more leeway here, so maybe I won't have to drop it all the way. Hey y'all, let's pull this down more. You remember the, these silver clip things that hold in everything else? It looks like there's two holding in the plastic part of this. Okay, they're not silver, they're plastic. So I just push the screwdriver in there on one end and it's coming down. So I'm gonna do the other end, but I do need both hands. So give me a sec. I'm also coming up here to this. Maybe that's the mic and just popping that out cause it's probably gonna be in the way. I really can't tell. Um, I'm just gonna pop it out real quick. Sorry about that. I just think it's necessary. So just so you can see this whole black plastic piece clips out from there. It's just a holder. The wires you can leave clipped in and it'll slide up through there. So yeah, let's keep messing with this now. All right, there's the clips as you can see and they're pain in the butt. I kind of mangled that one up. It didn't crack or anything, but oh man. So this is completely dropped down now and I have access to this. I need to examine what this is. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to drop the whole mechanism with the motor. Okay, I narrowed it down. First, you're gonna do the T20s. There's only three on this side, but there was four on this side right there. So do the T20s. And then we're gonna do that 10 mil, that 10 mil, that 10 mil, and that 10 mil. And hopefully the motor just stays attached to this piece when I drop it and maybe unclip this plastic hose. And correction, there was four on this side, two there, two there, just like the other side, so doing the T20s. So I can pull it out right now, except see the wire's kind of holding it in place. I'm not sure if I should have retract the wire so it pulls itself out. All right, I decided to forego by pressing the switch and retracting them, and now I'm gonna try and remove it. Okay, that was the correct answer. Now. It seems that the wires run through those white plastic pieces. I don't know what's retaining them or if I can pull them out by hand or what I gotta do. But it seems now I need to figure out how to get the wires out of these white things and get the new wires in there and then reverse this whole process. So just by the looks and feel of it, I think I'm gonna have to unclip the motor there and take this whole piece out of the car, unclip the motor completely from this assembly so it releases these two white pieces that are underneath it and then maybe I can figure it out. I don't know, like I said, just trying things here. Okay, motor's unclipped. Be sure not to crack these things. And just pulling the whole thing out so we can examine it. So. Let's take a look at it. Seems unavoidable. We're gonna go after these torque bits, which I'm not sure if they're T20s or not, and then we're gonna just remove the assembly and see what happens. I'm tugging on them and they're a little hard, so I looked on top. FYI, I think there's Loctite. Okay, so see? Red Loctite. And now this is off. And you see how they turn? This little wheel cog, or gear, just turns in there and spins those. So need to keep exploring this. 
All right, well, the most logical thing, <laughs> since there's no motor giving you resistance now is, why don't I just actually just pull it out by hand? Huh. All right, this one is pulled out. Here's the bit that broke off. Goes all the way this way to the end. We'll put the new ones in and you see the bit that broke off is gonna face this way. And yeah, I, this is, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love Mercedes. Cause yeah, this is a Mercedes. If you guys didn't know the QX30 is a Mercedes. So, so much fun. I love this over-engineered simplicity. So before you do that, just check the orientation, pull out your old, your roll here and pull out the old one from the side. And you'll see, see the numbers that they're pointing that way. So this one's gonna go that direction. So yeah, these clips, you can pull those broken clips out and then let's replace these wires and finish this job up. Oh, nope, that was definitely the right move. I'm gonna do the other side and then remount this stuff, put the motor on, remount this back piece, and then we can do a test, <laughs> a test fit. Bonus content here. To get that clip out that I lost, I just pushed this little pry tool in and push the clip out this other hole right there. And I was able to get it out, so now I can put it back in when I install everything. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm gonna pull this forward and then clip it in up there, and then we'll try the motor. Okay, I was thinking about this. I think I'm gonna leave the back bolted in and unbolt the motor again so I can freely move the little wires so I can line it up right, because there just wasn't enough play. So. Let me give that a go. Okay, it's unbolted. So my theory now is I can freely pull these back individually from each other so they don't move at the same time. And I'm gonna line up one corner at a time. So give me a second. Okay, that was definitely the right move because you're able to twist it. So it's mounted now. <laughs> now I gotta put the engine or the motor back on to test it all. So give me a sec. Okay, now the moment we've all been waiting for, hopefully. Plug it back in. Okay, wow, this is fun. So I didn't want to go all the way closed, so undid the motor again so I can manually pull it all the way closed and then put the motor back on. Let's try that. Woo -wee! Maximum effort. And now we're back in business and it closes all the way and opens all the way. So fuck yeah. Oh, you guys, I'm absolutely beat from this. This is not fun. Uh, it's just a lot of diligent little work. So hey, if you appreciate this content and you were trying to fix your QX30 sunroof, you are welcome. Please subscribe and like this video and drop a comment and say thank you because this was not fun. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you all soon. I'm going to finish up this content and wrap it up, edit it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Okay, some bonus content. Pop out those silver clips now and just reinsert them through the plastic pieces. That way you can pop everything in seamlessly and together. You know what I mean? So do that.